uh, today and this is regarding uh, quilt boxes and it's getting ready for um, getting ready for winter time in the bees and so what I've done here is um, I'm making basically a moisture barrier to keep the uh, condensation off the bees and one thing to remember is that you know the cold doesn't really kill the bees um, it's the moisture that kills the bees so if you ever hear somebody say oh well my bees froze to death well that's not the case uh, here in West Virginia you know it gets pretty cold up here but it doesn't ever get you know um, below below zero you know maybe maybe at night wind chills things like that but the bees can survive you got to remember bees are in Michigan Minnesota Canada places like that so they'll certainly survive here anyway so what I've done is uh, I've taken a, um, a medium a medium super and that's uh, that's here um, and uh, what I've done also is I've taken and I've put um, screen you know window screen uh, on the bottom and I just stapled it around the bottom edge um, then what I did was I uh, I had all my friends at work save their Starbucks coffees for me, or coffee cups for me, or their Dunkin' Donuts, whatever it is they drink. And um, what I've done is uh, I've taken a just a spot of uh, caulk, put it on there to attach the um, the cup to the screening, and then um, I'm gonna add all of the uh, cedar chips, like you see here. These are just cedar wood chips. Um, this guy gives them to me, so so it's really nice. It's it's free. Free is always good. But anyway, so what's going to happen here is um, I'm going to fill this one up. I just wanted to show it to you before I did. But I'm going to fill this up, and then when I put it on the hive, what's going to happen is that all of the uh, the heat from inside the hive that the uh, that the bees make keeping the queen warm in the winter time will will rise up through this coffee cup, which I've cut the uh, the bottom out of. Now this is going to act as a chimney. So all of the, the warm air, when it's really cold out, is going to rise up through this, uh, through this coffee cup and it's going to hit the, uh, the top cover. And what's going to happen um, is that that warm air will condensate and it'll turn into water. But without the, uh, without the wood chips that are about to be in there, that condensation would fall back down onto the bees. But what the wood chips do is they act as... as uh, uh, just a, a moisture barrier that's going to catch all the moisture and won't let it get onto the bees. So this right here, pretty soon, um, once we start having frost and things like that, this will probably stay um, a little damp. But it's a good thing because it's keeping my bees alive. If the uh, cold condensation would get on the bees, it would kill them. And uh, that's never a good thing. So one other thing that I've done is, um, you can see here on the sides, I have a, uh, looks like a smiley face. <laughs> I guess that's the smiley face keeping my bees alive. But uh, I've drilled two, two one inch holes. These are one inch holes here on this side and then two on the other side. And I've also put uh, the window screening uh, on those holes. And what this is gonna do, it's just gonna allow more ventilation to uh, escape uh, to escape the hive in this, uh, this medium box. So that's what I'm doing today. It's October. 18th I think and we're supposed to have a uh, pretty good frost uh, tomorrow night so um, I'm just getting my girls ready and uh, I want to give them every chance I can I've also uh, I posted a video on this last year um, about the same thing and um, so you can watch that one too if you want if you go on YouTube but um, this is what I'm doing just a new update on the bees and um, hope you liked it thanks for watching